My name is Mrs. Finch, and this is the School Greenhouse. One of the classes that I teach at Marshall High School is botany. Botany is the study of plants. Any students in grades nine through 12 can enroll in botany class, and it counts as a science class. We also incorporate career and technical education, as well as FFA leadership into the class, and we get to work in the greenhouse. The other class that I teach is zoology. Zoology is the study of animals. In addition to our stuffed animals we have in class, we do bring in real live animals for kids to study. And we talk about the careers that they could have in agriculture. In addition to teaching the agri-science classes here at Marshall High School, I am also one of the two co-FFA advisors. Anyone in grades seven through 12 at Marshall Public Schools can be a part of the FFA. What is the FFA? The FFA is a leadership organization. FFA focuses on leadership, career development, and competitions. So if you wanna compete, you should join FFA. And this is our room. This is one of our three rooms we have here to teach FFA, botany, and zoology. Hi, I'm Mrs. Robinson and I teach chemistry here at Marshall High School. Um, as you can see, we have one of our wonderful labs set up at this table where we've been studying ionic compounds. We'll also learn about covalent compounds and molecules such as water and the air we breathe. Um, throughout the year, we'll be learning lots of topics such as properties of matter, bonding, nuclear chemistry. We'll learn about atoms, chemical reactions, and you'll get to see a lot of cool demos. And you'll also learn, and everybody's favorite, some math calculations for how to figure out how many atoms are in our dishes of chemicals here. All right? Hi, it's me again. Um, another class I teach here is biology. So as you can see, biology is the science of life. We'll learn why we need the food we eat. We'll learn all about the cells that make up our bodies, the tissues and your organs, and also what role we play in ecosystems and the environment. Hi, I'm Mrs. Harrock, and I teach conceptual chemistry. Conceptual chemistry is for students who um, just need a slower pace learning of chemistry. We do a little less math concepts, um, and it's great for students who are also in informal geometry. So if that sounds like you, sign up for conceptual chemistry. We study um, all of the same topics as regular chemistry, but again, we just do it at a little bit slower pace. I also teach AP chemistry. So if you enjoyed general chemistry and want to challenge yourself, try AP chemistry. AP chemistry is offered by the AP College Board and is equivalent to a semester of college chemistry. It is a challenging class, but very rewarding. We do lots of labs that you won't get in regular chemistry, and you'll learn a lot to help you as you go into college. You should think about this if you are thinking about um, a career in science or medicine. If you have questions, ask me. You do need a teacher recommendation. Hi, my name is Melissa Lennon, and I'm a chemistry teacher here at Marshall High School. I teach chemistry and conceptual chemistry in room 123. Um, chemistry is all about the study of matter and its interactions. So we really study everything, all the substances, everything is made of a substance. We study all about those substances, like these here, and how they interact. So we use a lot of the elements on the periodic table to figure out formulas and reactions. And chemistry is a class for 10th graders. Hi, I'm Mr. Griffith. I teach biology, zoology, and AP biology at the high school. For AP biology, uh, if you're a junior or senior, uh, if you're interested in studying biology, if you really enjoy biology as a freshman, then AP biology would be a good choice for you. Also, if you want to major in a biology-related field in college, uh, anywhere from medicine to environmental science, the AP Biology class really prepares you for the, the college level biology classes, courses that you would take uh, in college. Really looking for those students that have a, a good work ethic uh, and really interested in earning college credit as well. So 
Uh, if you're interested, you may want to look into AP Biology. Thank you. Happy day, happy day. I'm Mrs. Kruger and I teach anatomy here at Marshall High School. Uh, anatomy is a course that's designed for juniors and seniors with successful completion in biology and chemistry, and we study the human body. You will learn all about body systems, uh, including all the anatomy and then the functions of all of the body parts. So it's a great class. I enjoy teaching it. And um, right now we're studying human bones. We have real human bones here in the classroom, which is really cool. And then it will end the year with a fetal pig dissection. So you can see our little fetal pigs here. Okay, this is a required part of the course, uh, but it's amazing. And if you don't think you can do it, um, we'll get you through it. It is very fun and you'll end up enjoying it, I think. So, all right, thanks so much. Hi, my name is Mr. Rissi and I teach physics. Uh, physics is all about the mathematics behind how things function in the universe. Uh, there's math that describes how everything in the universe behaves. Um, uh, physics deals with light and magnetism and motion of objects. Um, physics involves a lot of math. Uh, if math is not really your thing, then conceptual physics tries to scale back on the math a little bit, but still, um, we're still looking at, at, at how things behave in the universe. Physics is all around us. There's nothing that isn't the study of physics. Well, looks like you have a lot to think about. AP Bio, AP Chemistry, Physics, Botany, Zoology, Anatomy. So many options here at Marshall High School. Let's see what your future holds.